Hello, this is Sarah and Rachel, and today we'll be discussing how to read a binary LED readout and how to translate the LED readout into binary and analog values. Today we will be using an ADC 0894 board as an example circuit. This board has already been wired up to receive analog signals and convert them into a binary output. This binary output is displayed using a series of eight colored LEDs, each of which represent one bit of the final binary readout. When the LED is on, that bit is displaying a 1. When the LED is off, that bit is displaying a 0. The first thing to do is to determine which is the most and least significant bit in the binary array. This can be done by slowly changing the analog input. The LED which flashes on and off the fastest is the least significant bit, meaning the bit which holds the smallest numerical value. By the logic, the LED at the opposite end of the array is the most significant bit, meaning the bit which holds the largest numerical value. An 8-bit binary array will be able to output any numerical value between 0 and 255, with each individual bit representing twice the value of the one before it. An array which shows all the LEDs lit is displaying a numerical value of 255. An array with only the least significant LED lit is displaying a value of 1, while one with only the most significant LED lit is displaying a value of 128. These values are controlled in this circuit by a potentiometer, which is used to increase and decrease the input voltage. Increasing the voltage gives a larger binary and analog readout, while decreasing the voltage gives a smaller readout. Let's do an example reading. For this readout, we can convert the array first into a written binary number. It is important to do this in the correct order, remembering that the least significant bit is at the far right, and the most significant bit is at the far left. For this readout, the binary number is 1001010100. Using binary conversion, this output is translated to the decimal number 148. This method of translation can be used for any output that the LED array gives by using standard binary to decimal conversion. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it useful and informative.